Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back after many, many years to Reassembly with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to what is just pure nostalgia. So today, it's currently 2am, I really wanted to play this purely as a hit of nostalgia, and I want to see if there's any interest on the channel to continue this as a series, so tell me if you have any interest in that because I absolutely love this game. I finally grabbed the DLC, which adds gravity wells and a few new items to the game, and we're just going to get straight into it. So, like I said, I haven't played in a very long time. I played very quickly earlier just to make sure the recording was okay, which it was, and we're going to get started. And I will explain what the game is as we go on with the game. Essentially though, just a brief overview now, you pick a faction, you can build your own ships, you can take territory by rebuilding damaged stations, you can build your own stations, you can eventually be a factory ship yourself, building ships to follow you, there's loads of different weapons, there's missiles, drones, lasers, and each of the factions have loads of unique things to them. For instance, the farmers can farm, they can build plants, which will give you resource over time, or, well, basically just being the ultimate harvester. As you can tell, I can't talk right now. 2am. We're going to start, though, today by just playing an hour or two as the Terran, because that's the basic one, and I'm a basic kind of person. So, of course, we are Lathric. So what I would like... Let's go with red and white. Let's go with a sort of white flyers style from, from the depths. Something like that? Maybe a little bit less. It's more of a pink on some of the weapons. Ooh, maybe like a crimson. Not sure. Yeah, it's a bit basic, a bit... Yeah, let's go with that and slightly darken the white, make it a bit more grey. Just want to see what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. All the basic settings, we have spawners and everything else, and let's begin. Welcome to the world. Well, the galaxy, the universe, whatever you want to call it. So we have the objectives there in the bottom right, which is basically our tutorial. We have all the plants here, as you can see they're throwing out seeds, and over time they will give resources as well. The resources can be handed into the stations, like this lovely thing over here, which then will give us credits to upgrade all sorts of stuff. Well, it's more just buying stuff. What I really want is the shields and the drones, because the drones just make me happy. There we are, the drone launchers. We also, of course, have missiles, which we already have. Yet we have two missiles attached to us already, and we have a nice basic gun, which I may change a little bit right now. I want the basic gun to be auto-fire, just because I like it being auto-fire. Wait, do we have no point defense at all? One second, I'm very curious with any point defense. So what do we actually have? We have two plasma cannons and an auto cannon. We can get defense cannons as well. Okay. You know what? I'm going to be really stupid and I'm going to replace everything with missiles straight away to increase my happiness. And I am going to add a couple of these defenders. But where should I put them? Uh, I could put them there. Yeah, just uh, remove these two bottom hull pieces. Then we have two defenders. These will take up some power, though, which is a bit of a concern, since we have only one generator. But I think it will be fine. There we go. Actually, attaching them tends to be the best case. There we are. More missiles. Let them load in. Okay, so we can look at the map. So what is our goal then? Really, I want to find some inactive stations to give us some resources to get some new stuff. Yep, find a uh, fly near a damage station to reactivate it is in fact our goal. Our friend there just going straight into one of those plants. Lovely. We, it also wants us to trade resources at station for some more credits. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I've also changed my mind. I'm going to turn off the auto. Kind of wish you could have them on multiple modes, but yeah, it, having at least one manual weapon is good because you can clear things like plants with it without wasting loads of missiles, which don't actually take that much power. So maybe it was good adding the point defense. Just allies so far. Let's see if we can find ourselves an enemy. I should also note, I did play this game a lot on the channel many years ago, but um, the problem is... Did I just kill someone? No, I just collected big resources. Cool. The problem is, since then, the videos have kind of uh, faded away because of ID claims and stuff and the old system. A lot of them have mute patches in, so I wouldn't really recommend watching them because the audio is just broken in a lot of the videos. I do apologize for that, though. 
Am I going the wrong way? Oh, I've entered. Okay, so I went all the way to the top there, so now I'm re-entering the space at the bottom. This is very lonely. I'm earning some credits, though, just by exploring. Oh, hello, lots of enemies. So, let's see if I can remember how to fight. So, I've just locked on target. I fired the missiles at long range. Bit cowardly, but we are tiny and not very well defended. So, I'm just going to try and snipe these little things at range. Not most interesting to watch, but until you get a larger ship and you get much larger in this game, you don't really see yourself all that much. There we are. Our point defense going off there. One of my favorite ways to play is actually a brawler. Basically pure point defense and then shields and everything else. You just run into the enemies and just hope for the best. As much as I do love missiles. We are a fast little thing. And deadly. So these enemies uh, belong to the red faction, which is actually considered a hard faction to play. Because they're quite weak. So yeah, very lucky we ran into these guys first. Oh, on the map there, on the left, I think that's one of the gravity wells. Wasn't paying attention to where I was going, though. So let's have a look-see, then, what that's all about. Got a little bit of resource now from killing those enemies. Got some credits as well from exploring. We could actually increase our size already, but first of all... Thrust around the start of orbit. Speeding up will increase the size of your orbit, and slowing down will decrease it. Okay. Blue line. Oh, okay, so the blue line is where I'm going to go. Oh, my God, that is a lot of stuff. Oh, enemies as well, farmers. No, I want to stay in orbit. There we go, we are now orbiting the star. There's an enemy in front of us called the turtle. Seems like the gravity also affects our weapons because those missiles are going very quick. Ooh, very large enemy there in the core. Wow, that is mesmerizing to watch. Also, YouTube's bitrate probably won't like this very much. The raptor, let's see if we can get towards it. Oh, yeah, we killed it. Or oh, the turtle killed it, not quite sure. Oh, don't crash into the star! Well. Who was piloting the ship just probably, uh, bleh, died. Probably died. <laughs> that, was, that was surprisingly difficult to get used to. Thankfully, you do respawn straight after you just lose the resource you had, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> we just need to go out and get some more resource. And this time, we'll actually explore the area around us, not just going straight towards a star. Because <laughs> it was pretty. Oh, where are we? Oh, we went past a station, apparently. Now, if I do this... Yes, you can control the stations, at least what they make. At the moment, they're basically making us, but you could have them make whatever you want. Including designs you make yourself. And then you can have... How do you get them to follow you in your fleet? I can't remember. So it's like this... I'm sure once we uh, once we activate the station, it will tell us how to do that, so that's what we need to do, then find a station. What is this? Okay, there's a station there, but also like a green area. Some small enemies again, not too scared of these. If there's a lot of these red enemies around, I might just go full on point defense. Oh, we are very slow. It's like a slow zone. Oh my god, even the missiles are slow. By Nurgle, that's low. Ooh, pretty plants. Hello, pretty plants. Or your seeds. So slow. Die. Slowly. The missile's slowly catching up with it. Oh, come on. Can we kill one thing in the slow zone, please? I want to see it slowly explode. Ooh, what is that weapon? Okay, so we're going to have to fight for the station unless we can just sneak around. Like so. Ha ha! Cheesing it! Lovely, there we go. So the station's now online. It'll help to defend us. It's even got a shield we're currently hiding in. Lovely. So now it wants us to try 100 resources. But first, let's see what we can get. So we could get the railgun, a very long range turreted sniper weapon. Uh, we have the plasma cannon, which is pretty cool, honestly. The proton beam. The drone launcher, which will make me happy. The torpedo launcher. High damage on guided torpedoes. Launches flurries of unguided rockets. That's tempting. The rocket turret. A plasma mortar. A decoupler, that's new. Burst shield. And then an afterburner. Oh, which we already have. Yeah, that's one of the new items, so I need to test out soon. 
I do kind of like the lasers though, um, because it does help a lot when you're short range. Manipulator. Ooh, a tractor beam. I can't remember that. So many options for what we want. Uh, rocket turret seems very, very cool, but I would also like the drone launcher, so let's grab that. And then let's increase our size a little bit. So now we are 399 in terms of our ship points slash power, our power point. So what to do here then? I uh, could just replace these with the drone launcher. No, you cannot. The drone launchers are much bigger. Uh, what to do then? What to do? Might need to just already edit the ship, which is kind of a shame. That's really quick, but sure. Now, I want to know if this one trick still works. So do that, do that. Uh, it's giving me some of these corner pieces. Like so. Kind of forgot how to rotate then. So that really shouldn't work, but yeah, so it turns out the actual drone section itself doesn't count. So it's less of a trick, more of a weirdness with the build. Actually, no, it is a trick because if they spawn in, like, they won't allow it. So it could have like a spine like this going through. And then just do that again here. Then have the drone launchers kind of on the side. I don't really have enough time to make something which looks gorgeous, but, uh... I mean, to be fair, I also don't have the skill. Could have a spine like that. Move these back, so don't need that right now. So move this to here. Oh, don't like how that's all connecting now, though. I'm gonna have to make loads of changes, aren't I? Yeah. I just realised I don't know if drones actually go through your ship when you fire them. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick test. Now, there is a test option here. But be aware, this test option is you, well, the AI taking control and fighting other ships. I don't really want that. Oh no, these aren't connecting because of that space. Um, what to do? I know what to do. I know what to do because me has brain. Not good brain, but has brain. Then I can just knock that back one. There we go. I do lose a thruster by doing this, but you know what? I'm probably going to change these anyway, so you know what? Never mind. Right now we're a stick. Just want to make sure the drones work. There we are. They seem to. Wow, this station is brutal. There go our drones. And they're all chasing after that target. Orders engage my target, lovely. And they actually have quite a long um, duration, so we can get quite a few of them. Now, they are also quite weak, but they are also very cheesy, and you can definitely cheese the game with them. So, we're going to probably want to stay quite long range, so speed isn't really an, a necessity, but being able to get out of fights is... Uh, so, actually, I think an afterburner might be best. So, an afterburner will burn energy, go faster. Never actually used one before, though, so it might be dreadful, might be the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> Just a stick. Okay, let's uh, let's build a front hull and a back. I kind of like having these exposed, almost just like drone hangers, which I quite like. Ooh, we could have it just like that. You know what? I've accidentally made something I like the look of. I approve of myself, which, you know, is good for your mental health in general. Okay, look, I get it. This is a stick. It's a stick with extra steps. I get it, it looks terrible, but I'm out of power points and I wanted it to... I'm just going pure aggression with the drone launchers, okay? It'll look better later, I somewhat promise. I somewhat guarantee, I somewhat give my word. Oh, that's ugly. But there we go. Lots of point defense and... Oh, hello. There we go. And now we can summon loads of drones at a time. Which will soon be aiding us. Though we, do, we don't really want to get close to an enemy. Uh, we do have the point defense to defend us a little bit. And we do have the afterburner now. Out of the slow zone we go. Let's go to the next damage station. Unless we find a large target, which is really what I want to find. Since that's what the drones are going to be best for. Well, I wouldn't call you a large target, but I want to use the drones on you anyway. Ooh, hello. Too many targets. Hello, ow. That's my thruster gun. Thankfully, you do regenerate fairly quickly in this game, so it's not too bad if you... As long as you get out alive. Come on, I want to show off the drones properly, not be mobbed. This is why I prefer brawlers. Go after this one, there we go. As soon as you lock onto the target, all the drones go after that one specific target. There we go, just got a kill. We are killing them by being very annoying and just kind of bouncing around using the afterburner. 
Under attack from behind, that's fine. There we go, one of these little things down, there goes the other. The swarm collectively destroyed it, fantastic. For a tiny little ship, remember we are basically minimum size, we're okay. We just look awful. Oh, why are there so many of these little stations everywhere? I mean, yeah, I get it, it's their territory, but I'd expect more ships, less these. Ships we are seeing are tiny. Wow. Yeah, if they get close, our uh, point defense can mow them down. We do have... We are, yeah, just pure offense. No defense. Like, if we get one hit in the, in the core, we die. Ooh, big enemy, big enemy, big enemy. Where, wow, where'd you go? There he is. Gonna run past. Just keep on throwing out drones. It's trying to run away, I think? Yeah, it's running away so its point defense can deal with them. Now, one tactic with the drones I remember is, since they have such a long lifespan, you can just stay away, get the maximum number of drones ready, then send them all at once. So I'm going to go after this little guy instead for a sec, let my drones kind of regenerate. Ow. Hello, ally. Really fighting above my weight here, which isn't great. Oh, where'd you go? I also need more generators, it seems. Yeah, I don't have enough power. I have two generators, and it's not enough to keep up with the drones. Oh, big station, big station. That point defense will probably take out all of our little drones, but we'll try. Yeah, we're getting a few little hits here and there, but no, yeah, they've been taken out way too fast. So what I should do, then, is move back here. Stop targeting. No, oh, they're still in combat, darn it. Well, either way, we can just sneak past it, that's fine. Get get a little bit more money so we can get some more size. Oh, I thought I could take that out by being close to it. I can't. I'm just about alive. I have detached completely. Station, heal up faster, please. I need you. I am completely stuck, by the way. Making a few drones here to defend myself. Oh, I was really dumb there. I'm still getting used to the controls again after all this time. Yep, yeah, I am just completely stuck. I'm gonna die. But I think I should just respawn here. It's healing up using the resource. No, okay. Well, at least we did sell our stuff so we can get the upgrade. Which for now is just gonna be pure size. Let's just increase our size so that we can get some more generators. Which, by the way, are explosive, I believe, so... Yeah, I've placed them really well, as you can tell. Both in critical positions. Well, too bad. I'm making it worse. Will this work? If I throw these here now, that's still... Yep, okay. See, if I tried to put it there... Oh, look, that one isn't loading its um, drone. The rest are, though. Oh, the two outer ones aren't. Let me just check. Make sure it isn't just a visual thing. Yeah, they're not... Are they? Yeah, I'm not adding five each time. Okay. So it seems like you can cheese it a bit, but uh, yeah, if you go too far... Yeah, there you go. Instantly grow. That's a shame. Could have them on the outside. I mean, I'm just trying to think of the defense of the craft right now, because right now we take like one or two hits and we're instantly down and out. But I do like having them like that in the core rather than being so far out, but maybe just one further. We do kind of have the size for it now. It also means we have this middle section, which is defended by a few blocks, which we can easily put our generators and blah de blah de blah Um... Maybe... Then we have the drone launchers all in a line here and here. It's going to look a bit dull, but sure. Let's just start again with that in mind. It's gone from a stick to a uh, slightly overweight fish. The natural progression of building a spaceship. Sure. That's exactly right. 
Also, I'm now realizing I have not placed these two symmetrically, and I wish there was a mirror mode. Now, there is a mirror mode in the controls, but that's not what you think it is. It's not a mirror mode like uh, in From the Depths, where you place one thing on one side, then it places on the other side. It's literally to mirror an item you're holding like this. So that you can build symmetrically. I always wanted a proper mirror mode in this, but sadly, never really happened. With people like me who have trouble with patterns, yeah, it can be a little bit problematic. Now connect to the... there we go. It's connected to the drone launcher, which makes it a bit less defensive, but I prefer it rather than having like a gap. Sure, I'm trying to go for a bit more defense this time, but I'm now realizing I don't really have all that much space for the thrusters, especially turning thrusters, so I guess I could have them on the front. Oh, this thing is hideous again! I don't have time- I don't- I literally don't have time <laughs> to worry about these things! I do want to get some sleep tonight. Oh, it's like a really stupid fish. I... Yep, this is this is my creative genius. You know what? Sure, there we go, we're done. Loads of point defense- oh. Loads of point defense, way more armor. And way more generators and storage capacity. Probably a bit too much for- Oh my god, how many shots are happening there? Probably a bit too much what we've got, but uh, yeah, we can always size up now nice and easily. Wow, look how much point defense we have, that's so many little shots. There we go, just about enough energy to keep up with the drones. That's just two more generators. Look at that though, we now have 37, 47, okay. I wonder how you change their orders, currently the orders are engage my target, I actually don't know how to do that. Oh, okay, so left mouse in command mode to recruit an ally, use left mouse again to release the ally and gain. C, okay. So I think it costs to actually get them. Oh, move, move, move! Wow, we are slower than we were before. No, we're in the slow zone. That's why I'm being so slow. Look at that point defense! Just insane amounts of death! Shame it's pink. I wanted it to be more red, but instead, it's pink. Fish away! We're so tiny. Oh, lots of little guys. Point defense! Come to my eye. Ow! I just cracked my head on a rock. Note to self, get used to the afterburner. If you're gonna use it that much, get used to it already. Why is the station not attacking that little guy? Why am I not? There we go. Slow area, so difficult to move in. Nope, never mind, I'll go find a fight somewhere else. I keep forgetting how small we are as well. I keep going up, up against enemies which are just going to crush us. Okay, this time, just remember, our core is at the back, so we shouldn't fling ourselves- What did I just say? Me? Though, I do want to kill that station. I, want, I really want to use my drones against that, so let's uh, do that again. But this time, remember, afterburner makes you go quick, quick. Quick, quick means hard to control. Bad! Especially if you're as derpy as me with the controls. Okay, let's summon some drones. They should just follow me until I have to find a target. Seems like the most I can get is like 40-ish. Go. I'll just stay cowardly over here. Oh, the point defense is just mauling them. No chance. I mean, that station is 4,000. And what are we again? Like... 500? Yeah. Ha! Masked one of the little babies that had the... There's no way we're taking out those shields. Oh, it has drones itself! Now I'm very happy about point defense. Point defense lasers, that's far cooler than what we've got. That's what I want, point defense lasers! Lasers. Which faction is this? The blue faction. They have really cool weapons by the looks of things. Might go with them! Oh my god, that weapon is so deadly! It's killed me now like three times! <laughs> Why am I doing this? Right now, what I should be doing is recruiting allies, staying near bases and harvesting. That's what I'm meant to be doing at this size. But I can't help myself. Also, I spent so much on drones and I'm not even using them properly. If you have drones, this is how you're meant to fight. You fight at long range and wear down targets. It's a safe, methodical and honestly quite fun way to fly. Just because I have point defense doesn't make me a brawler. I have light armor. I'm just good versus missiles and drones myself. There we go. Look at me being a smarty pants playing smart. 
I am so tired. There we go, look! Harvesting resources, killing enemies which are smaller than me. Actually, that one's... Oh no, that's the one with the horrible weapon. And look, if I use my drones now, hide behind this rock, I can quite easily kill them. Stop getting overconfident. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, in my case, a very fast killer. Oh, wow, we have 79 drones. Never mind, I can have way more than I thought I had before. There we go. Move! Not into it. It's so difficult to see which way I'm going at this size. It's like playing Spore, the cell stage. Damn, that thing's tiny, but so, like, powerful. Ow. Yep, 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 I can't move. Yep, great. Yep, lovely. Let me out. Come on, drones. I'm being really stupid here. Let me get one kill against these things. There we go. It's cornered. The drones are slowly peppering away at its shield. I'm going to get close myself and try and help. Don't let it regenerate. Why won't it die? I mean, I know it's bigger than me technically, but... Kill it! There we go. Revenge. I've got its corpse. Let's go home. Don't die, don't die, no, 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 no. This thing is so difficult to control. The controls in this game are actually fantastic, but they take some serious getting used to. It's a combination of mouse and keyboard, and I love it to bits, but oh my god, when you're out of practice, it is vile. And I'm just bad at these games anyway, let's be real. Uh, yes, okay, slow zone, we're home. Look, I got corpse for you. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's really pretty when you fire those. Is that going to be thumbnail? Maybe. Let's grab that laser. Okay, last thing I want to do. Last thing I want to do is... Let's see if I can make myself a bit more brawly. How much health do the lasers have? Lasers have da -da -da, health 200, whereas a whole block is 250. So actually, it's not much... Oh my god, they're massive! Okay, I thought they were way smaller than that. Well, all my plans kind of went pretty quickly there. Oh, how much damage do these do? 100 damage per sec, 400 range. These are doing uh, 10 per round, 15 per... Okay, so 150 versus 100, but these hit instantly and all do hit. I say all. It's a laser. Uh, it's it's instant hitting, basically. It's hit scan. So as soon as I'm tar as soon as I target the enemy, they're hitting it. So only 400 health though for this whole thing. That's not great. And I first saw 400, I was quite happy with it, but I thought it was much smaller for its size. That's not really that good. And defense cannons on top, maybe. I just want to use it for a second. Yeah, and then we could interlace this with hull. Probably should do it the other way around, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Really should have the hull at the bottom since the hull has more health, right? 127 versus... Sorry, 125 versus... 25, yeah. This should go at the top, then. The actual, one, the actual piece connecting them both should be at the bottom, definitely. There we are. And I said that wrong, then. But I don't particularly care. I know this is hideous. I just want to use the pew pew laser, okay? I'll try and connect it a little bit to the rest. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, it's hideous. <laughs> I was going to say it's not that bad, but it just is. <laughs> oh, it just is. Okay, well, I would like those some um, thrusters there. Well, I'm going to... Uh, we'll have some backwards thrusters, actually. I haven't got many. Uh, too bad. More forward thrust. Going to be able to move very quickly as we want to. And then I'll just add a bit of hole here so it looks like an exhaust thing. I don't know. Do some more points left. Um, what should we spend it on? Maybe some flat cannons? Yeah, sure. They're basically point defense as well. Could some auto cannons instead. Yeah, let's have some manual weapons. So we'll replace some of the front here with. The auto cannons, we definitely should have enough generators since the drones are so expensive. How much are these? 3%? Yeah, we'll be absolutely fine with these as the main weapons. Um, 
Actually, I haven't tested out the plasma cannons yet, so let's do that instead. I'm waffling way too much here. I do apologise if this isn't the most interesting thing ever, but uh, if I do record more of this, and uh, tell me if you would like that, likes and comments aren't the way to show that, as I say at the end of each video, uh, then uh, I will be a bit more edity and stuff, and a bit more smirt about how I record. Eh, let's have two backwards thrusters, so sure. Ahem. Thank you. Sure. Sorry, drones. Okay, so the lasers are currently on that, but I'd like them to be auto, really. Yeah, definitely want the lasers to be auto, that way I don't have to think about it as soon as anything gets close. I'll attack, and also help with point defense. Wait, can I select all of a weapon type? I think you can somehow. Double click to select all lasers. Aha! There you go, that's how you do it. Okay. So the lasers are now point defense, I can manually fire the plasma, and that's me sorted. Whee! Whoa, I'm way faster than I used to be. <laughs> I don't have much control. Oh, I need more time to build something decent. Stop. There we go. Okay. So the damage actually looks pretty good. It's just difficult to get close enough because it's such a short range weapon. This thing has shields, which is annoying, but... Okay. Against smaller targets, we are going to be pretty brutal. Love the lasers. Okay, I think I might choose a faction that with more lasers for the future. Also, boy, do I realise I'm British when I say words like lasers and yeah. And comments, make sure to remind me about that every five seconds. Thank you. This is way too addictive. I will build better ships. They'll be glorious in the future. Yeah, Brawler is definitely my play style. Maybe some missiles, though, in the future, like a missile launcher. You know what? I am playing way too much now. It's getting way too late. It's like 4 a.m. now. If it's half 4. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then, of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that reassembly is something you actually wish to see in the future. I've had loads of fun tonight. I may do a mini-series on it. I may do, like, one big hour-long episode, which is heavily edited. I don't know. But if you would like to see more, then tell me. And also, let's go back to the main menu for a second. Tell me which of these factions you'd like to see. We were just playing the Terran. There's the Protex, the Farmers, the Crystalline, the the Crystalline, the B, the Sentinel, the Tinkrell. Oh, there's the blue one, which kept killing me. The red, which is the hard mode one, which I honestly don't particularly want to play. Not so much because it's hard mode. I've played it before and got huge before in it. It's fine. It's just not a playstyle. I just don't like them that much because they're not very tanky. I prefer tankier builds. And this one, which I can't remember. The greatest of the leap. What are you? Okay, I know I just said we're about to end the video, but I want to see- Ooh, hello. Oh, wow, those thrusters look cool. Woo, fast firing. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, I can't remember this faction. Um. Yeah, great, great. We have a shield. Straight away. Whoa. Frigate Deployment. Constructs light Praktor frigates, of which are large shielded and armed with heavy cannons. Launches huge, slow-moving missiles, extremely effective against capital ships. Whoa. Super Heavy generates R passively. I... This is... really... That shoots drones as well. Maybe I'll play this one. I don't remember this one at all. Was this Wait, was this added in the DLC or am I just not remembering it for some reason? Doesn't seem to be in the DLC. Uh, might be in the base game. I I honestly just can't remember that. Look how much recoil these guns have. Bye! Yeah, maybe I'll play these, but honestly, the factions are great as well. Every faction I like, except for the red faction, the basic red faction that is. So, 
Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care. Until next time, goodbye. Now I'm going to go to sleep and Editor Lathrix can try and sort out this ramble tomorrow.